In this video, we'll break down how to create these really cool speed ramp effects in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins, make sure to check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. The link is down in the description. So here are the two video clips. This is just from the Polo G music video, and you can see these clips look perfectly fine. But let's say you want to actually speed up these clips. So what I would encourage you to do is go ahead and go to the beginning of the clip. And what I usually like to do is I'll go for kind of like uh, 10 frames. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll go forward about 10 frames and then I'll go to the end of the clip and then I'll go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten frames and place a marker. So these 10 frames are going to be at normal speed and these 10 frames are going to be at normal speed. Now you can go ahead and actually create this speed ramp, speed ramp effect at the beginning and at the end, but in this case, I want it to happen in the middle of the clip. So I'm going to do some select on the first marker. I'm going to click on the keyboard shortcut uh, Shift B, and that will basically blade the speed. Then I'm going to go to this marker and I'm going to go ahead and click on Shift B to blade the speed. Now we want this part to be sped up. So what you want to do is you want to hover your playhead over this icon. So you see this icon should appear, and now you should be able to drag it. So we're going to go ahead and drag it this way to speed it up. Now if you want to slow it down, you just obviously drag it in the opposite direction. As you can see, we're speeding up this video clip and this is all kind of like a personal preference. So let's say we want this to be really fast. So let's go ahead and see what this actually creates. So now you have this really cool effect. See how it kind of like speeds up. You have this really cool effect where it kind of starts normal speed and then speeds up. So let's say maybe that's a little too fast. We can head over here and maybe drag this back out so it's a little bit slower. And then as you can see, we can scroll in, or we can zoom in, and we can go ahead and adjust this actual transition. So wait for this icon to appear on your mouse. And then we can go ahead and just drag this transition just to make the actual like effect happen smoother. So you kind of just see, we're dragging it in. So you see kind of like fades on, so it starts to get really fast, and then it will start to slow down. So I'd kind of make this line really small. So you can see if we go ahead and zoom out, now you should have this really cool effect where it starts at normal speed, and then so you see, see how it starts at normal speed, speeds up, and then slows down back to 100%. And that's just a really cool effect. Now again, we can do that for the second clip. So we can go ahead and head to the beginning of this clip, and we're gonna go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten frames. And then we'll go again, do the same thing, go to the end, and we'll go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 frames and again we'll select on this click on shift B to play the speed and then head to this marker and then click on shift B and we'll literally do the exact same thing we'll take our playhead over here and we're gonna go ahead and just adjust the speed and make it happen really fast and again it's all you know a personal preference how fast or and again you again drag it in the opposite direction if you want to slow it down and let's go ahead and adjust the actual like transition speed so hover the mouse right here now we can go through and kind of just adjust the actual uh, the transition that way it kind of like fades on so it's not like as harsh so you can see we can just keep messing with it until we get the look that we want that way there's a little bit of a fade on in my opinion in my opinion i think it just looks a lot better so let's go ahead and play these clips and let's see what they look like so see normal speed speed up and then see how kind of like see how kind of like speeds up so right here normal speed and let's say you want to make that happen even faster again same thing like a trial and error, so we can scroll this down or move this over here. That way it happens a lot faster. And again, you don't have to necessarily have 10 frames if you, you know, it's all a personal preference. So let's play the effect and see what it looks like. See, like, that's just a really cool effect. I just think it makes the, the eclipse so much more dynamic. So you see, it starts at normal speed, speeds up, and then again, you just create this really cool speed ramp effect. Now, if you want to go ahead and enable or disable the, the actual like, speed, click on the clip and then click on Command R to disable it, and then click here and click on Command R. So if you want to re enable it, select on the clip, and again, Command R to bring up the actual speed tool. So that's just a handy tip to know. Now, one thing I would add to any speed ramp effects is motion blur. Now you can head to the effects panel and you could apply directional blur and go ahead and just keyframe it, or you can use this free plugin from Ryan Nagel. So if I head over here to titles and generators and I find the category motion blur plugin. Now this is a completely free plugin. It's created by the YouTuber Ryan Nagel. So definitely go ahead and check out his channel and there should be you should be able to find a link to this free 
plugin. Now if we take the motion blur plugin, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of like apply it basically around where the actual like speed ramping is happening. So we'll go ahead and trim this and let's go ahead and actually drag this out a little bit. So we want this motion blur happening around where it's actually like speeding up. So it'll kind of like trial and error, kind of figure it where you want. I think that looks pretty good. So you can see, see how it's kind of like speeding up and it creates, to so see how that like really nice motion blur. And if we go over here too, see how it's like some, it just makes the effect look a lot better. So if I play it right here, now you have some actual motion blur. So see how that just looks so much better. It adds some nice blur. And there you go. That's just a really cool, cool thing to add to your speed ramps to make them look even better. And that is how you create some really cool speed ramp transitions in Final Cut Pro. It's just a really cool effect to either speed up a portion of your video or slow down a portion of your video. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you're using like a 24 frames per second clip and a 24 frames per second timeline, I would not encourage you to actually slow down that clip. Only slow down the clip if the clip is higher than the frame rate of your timeline. So if you using a 60 frames per second clip and a 24 frames per second timeline you will be able to slow it down without like a weird like lag in your clip so that's just something uh, to know and again I really hope you enjoy this video if you do I encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and again if you're looking for some really cool plugins check out my website link down in the description I'll see you in the next one peace